Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Boxiest, and today we are going to continue the What If series. What if events had gone differently? And in this What If, we're going to change the history of Cobra Kai. What if Johnny kicked Daniel off the balcony during the events of the Karate Kid? So in this timeline, the events of the Karate Kid would still happen, Daniel and Johnny would still have the rivalry, and Daniel would still meet Mr. Miyagi in this timeline. Daniel and Johnny would still train for the All Valley, Daniel and Johnny would still compete, and they would start winning their matches, and they would still make it to the finals, and much like in the original timeline, Daniel would still defeat Johnny, using the crane kick, so Daniel would still be the 1984 All Valley Champion, and the events of the Karate Kid would carry on, Kreese would be mad at Johnny for losing the tournament, and he would still choke him out after the tournament, but Mr. Miyagi would still come in and save Johnny, and those events would stay the same. Johnny would be mad, and he would blame Daniel for everything. During the next day of school, Johnny would confront Daniel. Johnny would tell Daniel that he got lucky, that he only won because of an illegal kick, but Daniel would say that he won fair and square. The other students would look at Johnny, and they would be laughing, and this would make Johnny mad. He would want to challenge Daniel to a rematch, to see who was a better fighter outside the ring, but Daniel wouldn't want to get involved, but Tommy and Dutch would force Daniel to fight. Johnny would attack Daniel, and Daniel would have no choice but to defend himself, and the fight would continue. Allie would want to stop the fight, but Tommy and Dutch would stop her. Johnny would be using offense, while Daniel used defense, and it would be a very similar fight to the fight Miguel and Robbie had in Cobra Kai, and they would still make it to the top of the staircase. Johnny would get the upper hand, and he would be fighting with anger. Johnny would have tunnel vision, and he wouldn't know where he was. So much like Robbie did in the original timeline, Johnny would kick Daniel off the balcony, Everyone at the school would be surprised. Allie would yell at Johnny, saying, Johnny, what did you do? Johnny would snap out of it, and he wouldn't believe what he had just done. And much like Robbie, Johnny would run away. Daniel would be in a coma, and he would be sent to the hospital. Lucille, Mr. Miyagi, and Allie would rush to the hospital, and they would be devastated. The police would be searching for Johnny, but they would have no luck in finding him. Chris would find out what happened, and he would want to look for Johnny. Eventually, Chris would find Johnny. And at first, Johnny wouldn't want anything to do with Kreese, but Kreese would explain that he was there to help him, and without anyone else to turn to, Johnny would accept Kreese's help. So Kreese would take Johnny to Terry Silver, and Kreese would explain everything that happened. So Terry Silver would want to help Johnny as a favor to Kreese. So Terry Silver would hire the best lawyers to defend Johnny, and those events would carry on. Terry Silver's lawyers would help Johnny get out of juvie, so Johnny would go home. Daniel would eventually wake up from his coma, Mr. Miyagi, Lucille, and Allie would be relieved, and they would want to help Daniel recover, and they would start earning money for Daniel's surgery. Johnny would feel bad for what he did to Daniel, and he would want to convince Sid to help Daniel, but Sid would be mad at Johnny, and he wouldn't listen to him. Mr. Miyagi would help Daniel recover, and Johnny would want to visit Daniel. Daniel would be surprised to see Johnny, and he would be afraid, but Johnny would apologize to Daniel for everything that he did. Daniel would accept Johnny's apology, so Daniel and Johnny would start to become friends. The events of the Karate Kid 2 would still happen, but in this timeline, only Mr. Miyagi would go to Okinawa, and those events would stay the same. The events of the Karate Kid 3 wouldn't happen, and that is where I'm going to end this what if. Thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think would have happened if Johnny kicked Daniel off the balcony during the events of the Karate Kid? Let me know in the comments below. YouTube lets me know that the majority of you are not subscribed, so if you guys could subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys next time.